episode of Full of Flavour Cooking with Abs. Um, so in the previous video we showed you how to make two types of pasta. Um, today we're going to show you how to use the orecchietti. We're going to make a simple fresh roasted tomato sauce. Um, what you're going to need for this is some nice vine ripened ripe tomatoes. So we've got about a kilo of tomatoes there. This, this dish is going to serve approximately two people. Uh, you're going to need just a small handful of basil, a few bay leaves, some garlic, a little bit of thyme, and some fresh oregano. We've also got some prawns, six prawns is enough for me for two people, and the orecchietti that we made in the previous episode. Okay, so let's get cracking. First of all, what we're going to do is we're just going to peel the prawns. So we'll just take off the heads and the bodies and we're going to save these shells, very important, to make the sauce shortly. So when you grab the prawn, you just take the head, pinch the, the pipe and you should be able to pull that straight out. Discard that pipe, save the head and the shells. Alright, so we peeled the prawns. Now we're just going to set those aside for later. I've washed the tomatoes. So all we're going to do is going to take a tray. And just chop these tomatoes into quarters. So just chop all your tomatoes into the tray. Then we get the two cloves of garlic. Just give them a whack. Throw them in there. Throw the thyme. The oregano. Just, it doesn't matter if it's all, you know, big stems. Just shred it in there roughly. Bay leaves. It's about four small bay leaves in there. And then add a good glug of olive oil. A good glug. A little bit of cracked pepper. Some sea salt. And the balsamic vinegar. Just a little drizzle over the tomatoes. One small thing I did forget, I just need a sprinkle of sugar. About one and a half teaspoons. Okay, so just give that a nice mix up. Oh, it looks great already. <laughs> I could eat that right now. Okay, so we're just going to bang that in the oven, about uh, 180 degrees, approximately half an hour to 40 minutes. But just keep checking on it, you don't want the tomatoes to burn, you just want to get them nicely softened and roasted down. Oh, one thing, don't forget the prawn heads. So we're just going to scatter the prawn heads in there as well. When they're cooked, these are just going to add a real good seafoody flavour to your tomato sauce. Give that a shake around, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to pop that in the oven. Okay, so the tomatoes have been in the oven now for about half an hour. I'm just going to check on them and just see how we're going. Steamy windows. Okay, so you can see all the juice is starting to come out of the tomatoes here. What I want to do, I don't want the tops to burn. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a toss around. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Just look at all that juice coming out. That just smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. See the tomatoes start to soften. They're nice ripe tomatoes, but don't take too long. So I'm just going to pop that back in the oven again. About another half an hour and we should be there. Alright, so the tomatoes are ready. I'm just going to pull them out of the oven. Let's have a look. Ooh. Ah yes, that is exactly what we want. Would you look at that? 
just beautifully caramelized. Prawn shells are a bit crispy. All the tomatoes are nice and soft. Just smells amazing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a pot and it's a colander. So pop all the tomatoes and everything into the colander. So we're just going to take a, a ladle and use the back of the ladle just to push all of this through, getting all the juice out. All you want to be left with is the herbs, the shells and the skin of the tomatoes, which we're going to discard at the end. Just keep working it through. So, all we're left with is the skins, the bits of shell, and everything you don't want. Okay? So, we're just going to discard that. Right, let's have a look at the sauce. Okay, so, that's just mm, amazing. So, it's quite a thin sauce right now because my tomatoes were nice and ripe. It's going to depend on your tomatoes. So what I'm going to do, I'm, this is really, you know, quite watery, so I'm going to stick it on the stove for about 10 minutes and just reduce it a little bit, just to give the, the sauce a little bit more thickness. Okay, so I've literally had this just on high heat, just for about five minutes. Like, we're still quite running. Let's see what I can show you. But don't worry about that because we're going to cook all this out in the pan as well when we're cooking the prawns and the pasta goes into it. So that's what you want. It's quite liquidy. Okay, so that's ready to go, basically. So what I've got, I've got my pasta water already on and that's already come out to the boil. The next thing we need to do is just take the prawns out of the fridge. And we're just going to roughly dice them up. Cut into about five pieces. Now we're ready to start cooking the dish. Okay, so we've got the pan on a moderate heat. We're going to give it a splash of olive oil. At this stage, things are going to start moving quite quickly. Now, the pasta, because it's fresh, is only going to take about one and a half minutes. So I'm going to pop that straight into the boiling water, boiling salted water. Whilst that's in there, I'm going to throw the prawns into the pan. Start sautéing them off. So just, just seal them on the outside, then we're going to add the tomato sauce. Now as you can see, as soon as you throw excuse me, Oliver, as you can see, as soon as you throw the sauce into the pan, it starts reducing immediately. It's exactly what we want. A little bit more. Beautiful. Now we just let this simmer for about a minute. Just gonna check the seasoning. Just gonna take a touch of salt and a little sprinkle of pepper. Now with the pasta, 
you don't want to fully cook it in the water because we're going to continue cooking the pasta in the sauce just to finish it off. So we're just going to strain off the pasta. Okay, so we've strained off the pasta. Just going to pop that in the sauce. And like I say, we're going to continue cooking the pasta in the sauce. Take about two minutes. Okay, whilst that's reducing down a little bit, I'm just going to grab some fresh basil. So it's just a small handful of fresh basil. I'm just going to tear that in there. Delicious. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to finish this just with a, a knob of butter, okay? So I've just got a, a teaspoon, take a heap teaspoon of butter, pop that in there. and just work that in. That's gonna thicken up the sauce a little bit and just add a real creamy, creamy flavor to it. Okay, so we're pretty much there. Just gonna grab a bowl. I'm going to grab two bowls because um, I'm feeding my wife as well. There we go. That sauce is thickened up. Not too thick, just beautiful and fresh. That fresh basil in there, it's really fragrant. Okay, so there we have it. Just clean up the plate. That is homemade arachiati with a fresh roast tomato sauce, prawns and some fresh basil. How beautiful is that? See you next time. Just delicious. For more videos, sub subscribe to our channel. You get updated with all our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. That's just great.